Lewis is growing. Another 300 homes coming to Robinsonville Road in the first town. Good evening. I'm Charlie Sakaitis. And I'm Mallory Messner. Welcome to our News at 11. We begin tonight with the final chapter in a long debated housing development. Trees are being cleared for a neighborhood called Brentwood, but neighbors say it's sad to see this neighborhood become reality. Coast TV's Charles Reinert is in the newsroom. Charles, people tonight said this is simply too much. Mallory and Charlie, if the name Brentwood doesn't ring a bell, then maybe its former name, Cora Lakes, does. Cora Lakes has been a controversial development for the past couple of years now, and now it's looking to move forward with a brand new name. That's good news for the developer, but it's leaving a bad taste in the mouths of people who fought against it. As Jill Hicks looks out on what used to be acres of trees, she says she's saddened by the thought of hundreds of new homes being built practically in her backyard. We worked very hard to try to appeal. Um, we weren't successful. Uh, I wish that, um, again, that the woods was not completely clear cut. I wish they could have saved more of it. Sussex County Planning and Zoning approved a housing development called Brentwood, but you may be more familiar with its original name, Coral Lakes. The development will build 300 houses off Robinsonville Road in Lewis. Hicks says since trees started coming down, her backyard hasn't been the same. We used to have a lot of animals that would come into our yard. Um, we don't see them anymore. Even the bird population has changed somewhat. This particular development has had a long history of legal tug of war. Multiple appeals were filed against the developer and applications from the developer were denied by county council. We reached out to Shell Brothers today, the developer of this particular neighborhood, and it turned down the right to an interview. Development schematics show woodland buffers and dozens of acres of green space. Delta is also working to improve the roads to make nearby traffic flow smoother. But Jane Grunebaum says development needs to be done carefully. It's done uh, poorly, right? We, we don't have sufficient infrastructure, right? I mean. Anybody who tries to get from point A to point B on a weekend knows we don't have enough roads, we don't have sufficient health care, our schools are crowded. Other developments are already in the works nearby, and this newest addition has left some neighbors question if enough will ever be enough. Shell Brothers will now have to work with the county to put forward their construction plans and timetables, but there's no known time on when we could start seeing houses in those Lewis fields. Back to you at the desk. 